Hello, Louisa. Mm, you're the principal of Peach Grove. Thanks very much for being on tape with us today. Can you introduce yourself a little bit? Yes, um, as you just said, I'm Louisa Barham and I'm the principal at Peach Grove Intermediate School here in Hamilton, which is a um, intermediate school for young adolescents aged 10 to 14. The role? You pardon? The how role is about 570 students mm -hmm. and, and we sort of have fluctuated between five and 600 students for the last five years. Mm -hmm. What are the special things about Peach Grove that you're um, proud of? I think the main thing about this school is that what's really important to me is that the whole school is based on relationships and um, everything we do here is based on making the place a place where anyone who comes into it can actually fit in. I know that sounds simplistic but that really is quite huge. So if parents come in or students come in or new staff come in they feel welcomed and they're able to ask the questions they need to ask to get the right answers to get on. So it's a place where culture is very important, a culture of relationships, and I, I think that that sort of um, is the key to all learning, starting there. Mm -hmm. um, we started the Marvin project as, yes. an, as an extension of the, the Digital Learning Object project. What are your thoughts on that? Look, once again, I mean, this is quite exciting. I mean. The teachers initially have just took to it, you know, took to it. Um, they were immediately attracted, and what I saw in the teachers was the um, the child in them coming out. And some of our, our you know, hard and old core teachers um, don't necessarily relate well to that. But gosh, if that's what learning's about, isn't it? Getting that that passion and that that enthusiasm we had for new things when we were little, and if you can get that into adults. Um, so that's what I saw first, that's what I saw first. And then when I went into the classrooms where the uh, teachers and students were using it, I mean, you know, they were just so engaged. They were so incredibly engaged and excited by, and having fun. But as was said this morning in the presentation, the teachers, they are learning. You know, the learning is happening. Sometimes I think in this world, people think, assume that learning can't be fun. How, how tragic. <laughs> so I, I'm very excited by the fact that, you know, this tool allows people, it gives them a license to say, yes, we can laugh, yes, mm. we can have fun, and yes, we can bring out the child in us and use these childlike tools that we loved when we were, when we were mm. small, and we just all got evidence to prove that learning is going on. <laughs> in the research project that accompanies Marvin, we look at uh, the key competencies that are uh, engaged within Marvin. So we talk about uh, the thinking key competency yes. and the relating to others yes. and the one that it has to do with communication yes. because Marvin is first and foremost yes. a communication tool. In this morning's presentations of the teachers to the whole school, yes. did you feel that the other teachers were getting the message slowly, that, that this would be some a tool that will help them in their teaching the key competencies as the Ministry of Education is? Sitting at the corner of the room as, it, as I was, I, mean, I know my staff very well, so the people whom I expected to be engaged in the presentation were. However, there were also a couple of people who I didn't expect would be engaged, two of whom asked questions. So that was very encouraging. Mm. When everyone came in this morning, they were like a class of children. They were laughing, they were you know, having fun, just engaging with what was in front of them. So without recognising it, they were modelling exactly what goes on in a class mm. when you get something new because for 80% of the group in that room, they hadn't seen Marvin before. And I thought that what Dave and Harmi and Cherie and Christine and Jamie did in using Marvin itself to start the whole process was just wonderful because that sold it before they even got a word out of their mouths. Mm -hmm. So it was, you know, if only they could see themselves, then they would see because they were modeling what a class of learners is doing. It was, oh, what's this? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is new. Aha, this is funny, and, and, and recognising, and just the way children do. Mm -hmm. So um, I thought the presentation modelled what we wanted it to do mm -hmm. with learners, really. Mm -hmm. um, as I indicated to you before, um, adult learners, of course, once they're over the first part of it, they need a little bit more depth to sort of be, to be encouraged mm -hmm. to, to take it on board. So I think that's something that will be the next challenge for us. Okay, mm -hmm. we, we got the engagement, we've got the... This looks like it could be interesting. We now need to take it to the the next level. 
-hmm. you know, in terms of engaging them. And what's the place with the research that goes well, with it? Well, so it'll help well you know, the first thing, as Cherie said, and a few, few eyebrows went up, she's actually got the program on every um, computer in the school. And, you know, and her, her comment was that I haven't had time to install. Trust me, if I get teachers going to her and saying, come in, I will make time for her to do that. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll make sure that she has time to do that. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, as you know, there are two teachers who are currently using the program who weren't even involved to start with, and they just muscled their way in. <laughs> so. I just want a quick detail about what you said. There were You said there were two people who you didn't expect to ask questions. What were the types of questions that they asked? That well, uh, and, that? well, the interesting thing about the question was that it wasn't a put-down question. You know, it was, well, one question that was asked, you know, was along the lines of, um, you know, will I be able to manage this myself, mm -hmm. you know, and... Um, that person straight away is, I'm thinking, my gosh, to even ask that question, mm. you know. Um, the other one was probably more tied up in a statement that was from Colin rather mm. than necessarily a question. But as you so right, rightly commented yourself, this was a man who um, really, um, his generation is definitely a generation of new, a new immigrant, if you like, new digital immigrant. Mm. And he um, has come on so on board. And what's what's brought Colin on board is not so much the material initially, but the enthusiasm and his belief in those teachers. So those teachers, with their quality ways of, of communicating and relating to people, he knows they're good teachers, and he trusts them. So therefore, that's encouraged him to go into their rooms mm -hmm. and to see what had happened. See for himself. Yes. Mm -hmm. But once again, it comes back to those relationships. Okay. I was just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> that concludes it. Thanks very much.